Well, this is our K and K Mini uh, passive acoustic pickup for now. A lot of the guys with the boutique guitars, boy, this is what they're going for now. And it's like you've got three little mini stethoscopes uh, picking up two strings at a time. So we're going to show you this install. First of all, we have our you know our typical jack that tightens from the outside. So I've already adjusted this for the proper depth. Let's go over to the guitar and feed this into place. This is basically a quarter inch dowel. You get a bag of them at the dollar store for a buck. Uh, I feed that through the hole that's already there in the tail block from the last system that was in here. And then I'm, I'm, I'm essentially feeding that like so, right, from the inside of the guitar. So kind of feed that in. So we just push that, index that into the uh, actual input jack. And now we just pull it through. Slip on our outside washer. And our nut. I've just stuck that Allen key through the hole, stop it from rotating. That will never loosen up. So just slip that leather over there and cinch it down. And that part of the installation is complete. I am marking the leading edge of the saddle slot. In this case, the reason I'm doing that is uh, the last few installs I did, the actual plastic they had was crystal clear. Because this plastic is translucent, it's harder to kind of figure out exactly where you're placing these little mini transducers. So now when I put that back into place, uh, also instead of using this, which just kind of slips through and wiggles around, I'm using the actual bridge pin, which helps to kind of really pin that firmly into place. So just to illustrate what the objective is here, so this transducer is attached to the bridge plate inside the guitar with super glue, but you have to have the right distance when you push the string in, the ball end of the string curls forward. So you want to make sure that the ball end of that string it doesn't catch the transducer. So, and that is why I have that line this is the actual leading edge of the saddle slot. When I put the putty on here to ensure that we're far enough away from the bridge pin hole so that that ball end of the string doesn't nip the transducer. For the sixth and fifth string we want that to be dead center so I'm just marking a center mark here and that will ensure that we get this in the right place for an even tonal response between the fifth and sixth string. So the idea of this putty is to temporarily hold the transducer in place. So now when we apply that super glue, we know we're going to be right on the money. This is the extra strap button that is used strictly for the strap. The input jack is never used for the strap. So this extra strap button, the whole idea here is it serves as a strain relief for the cord. So you kind of come up and over, then you plug in to the actual input jack. So if you happen to step on the cord, this gets the hit. The input jack never gets the hit. So I did go inside and check and as per the instruction manual, that first transducer basically falls right here in between the sixth and fifth string. Second transducer falls right here in between the D and G string. The last transducer falls right here dead center on the high E. I've already checked inside, lots of room for the ball ends of the strings, they're not interfering with any of the transducers. So, so they're perfectly placed. They were glued in with a gel type super glue. And they give you a two-sided tape, but you don't even want to go there. 
you definitely want that super glue. You want that intimate contact and permanent rigid contact between the underside of the bridge plate and the transducer. And that's what we've got all the way across. Now I did swap out these pins for some ebony pins and then we leveled, recrowned and polished the frets. There's plenty left on there. I will humor you and bring you sort of through the tuning verification, a 7th fret corresponding octave, open string 12th fret, fretted 12th fret note. Okay, so I'm going over my shoulder here, just uh, playing the guitar acoustically. So I've got it pointed at the tuner. And you can hear the chords that they're in tune, but I, I will humor you here. I'm pointing at the tuner as I do this, so open string, 12th fret, 7th fret, and it's octave. Open string again and first fret. Okay, A string, 12th fret, 7th fret, octave, open and first string. D string, 12th fret, 7th fret, octave, open and first fret. Third string, and first fret. Second string, seventh, open and first fret. First string, seventh. first fret. Anyone that knows Larrave guitars knows that uh, some of the spectacular inlays he's done over the years and continues to do in his high-end models are just that, spectacular. This is a plain Jane guitar. It's not a lot to look at, but now that we've got a bone cantilevered compensated saddle, I put some new bridge pins in there as I mentioned earlier. This has a tremendous voice. Now I've got it plugged in here, but let me just shut it off for a second. That's off. I have looped uh, a chord progression. Um, 